Hi guys, it's me Boog! And Dap! And today we're gonna be viewing the Star Wars Vintage Collection. Um let's see if this uh, 50th it, anniversary of Lucasfilm this time. Uh Richard the Jedi, Endor, Luke Skywalker. Yes! Dad's obviously very excited about this one. Uh yeah, he's gonna come in at VC number 198, two before the Emperor, uh, for the Return of the Jedi uh, series. And He's kind of an older one, like I said, around 200. I think right now, as of present day, we're approaching 300 as we speak. I think 300, actually, it's already, the pre-order's already up. I think it'll hit uh, store shelves next week. I can't remember. Who was 300? Do you remember? They announced it the other day. Uh, it was Hera. Hera, one of the from, ghosts. From, yes. From Ahsoka. Yes, yes, from the ghosts was 300. So, yeah. So, this has been a while ago, um, as far as the VC figures are concerned. But I uh, still one definitely worth getting on the channel. Uh, as we have, and like also said, the uh, the the Ewok Return of the Jedi, and also well, Andor, Andor, um, yes, so, yes, and yes, then also in the series is Death Star Droid and Tuscan Raider. Okay, yeah, we have some of the Tuscan Raiders. They probably should already be up on the channel. Death Star Droid, do we miss him? No, so, we have. Okay, is he on the channel? Uh, uh, Big with her a little period of opening and immediately putting them in the Star Wars room without them um, on the channel. No, no, um, <laughs> so. the, well, the dad uh, did have also had something to do with that. What did I have to do with it? <laughs> I want to review everything. Um, okay, fine. I guess I, I guess dad's got me on this one. Right. Uh, so blame him if we're missing part of the collection. It was probably downstairs, just missed the review. Well, actually, speaking of downstairs... Um, this week, me and dun, 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 dun. The, the week they're recording this, the week of uh, September twenty fifth. Yeah, September twenty fifth in through, the year of twenty twenty three. Through whatever this end of this in week the in the century is. of twenty first century. What? <laughs> okay, in the Milky Way galaxy. I don't. Milky Way galaxy. <laughs> I think that's the one we're in. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Anyway, so um. So, um, me and Dad are actually going to be, um, live-streaming us, um, uh, repairing or redecorating the Star Wars room. Yeah. Oh, we're live-streaming it? Yeah, we're going to live-stream it. Okay. So, uh, pretty much to take everyone through the process of being a dad trying to repair the Star Wars room and bring it back to its former glory. Yes, and we're also starting on Halloween this week. Uh, yes. Um, and also, uh, for the Star Wars room, it's, um... For I'm pretty sure, like, at least, like, our 100 to 150 subscribers, um, you get our first, like, 100 and 150 subscribers, you guys should definitely know what the Star Wars room is. Right, yeah? Yes, yes. The room of Star Wars, right. All right, so let's get on to the review and talk about that. VC198, and this is Luke from Andor. And pretty much that's why Andor, we're, sorry. And, Andor, and that's why Andor. we're opening up all these VCs. Andor is and a totally different guy. Great idea. Yeah, they've kind of been sitting around the Star Wars room and kind of got forgotten about for a little bit. So. Just like the Star Wars room itself. <laughs> yeah, we haven't been in there a lot lately. Yeah. So yeah, that's what this week is about. Getting in there and getting some work in, getting everything kind of set up. So I do love this card back. I think it was a great picture of Luke there on uh, Indoor. I always like indoor the wooded planet scenes, the this this the uh, scout bike chase scenes, all that. It's just it's just a ton of fun. I really enjoyed all of that about Return of the Jedi. I think out of the Star Wars movies, I think Return of the Jedi was my favorite. I think just you know seeing it all kind of wrap up and how it ended. I mean, Empire was great too. They were on Ray loves Empire, but. I just kind of liked the, the ending, you know, it was just, it was, it, it was great. I'm not an Ewok hater. All right, so we got a, uh, we've got him there in his indoor uh, outfits. The foos, we have Splaster. Yep. Kind of got a camo on. Lightsaber, Igniter. Very nice. Good looking yeah. lightsaber, too. And then we have the hilt. Yes. Which, Black Series, you just start doing this. They should. I agree. Dun dun dun! Here he is. Looks good! Very nice. So, let me take a closer look here. Um, okay, the hat's not, the hat's not removable, I don't think. Let's see. It didn't feel like it was very loose. 
Uh, no, it's not really. So it's made on. It's kind of a bummer. That would have been really nice. But it still looks good. Um, I think the uh, poncho kind of like thing is cool. Um, it does have a little hood where you could put up, I guess, oh, kind of over the, the speaker box or over the helmets. The helmets are kind of like the ones that the Rebels were wearing, the Rebel Troopers were wearing. But then underneath that, he kind of has this black Return of the Jedi suit on. Well, let's see. I think Which I guess that's what he was wearing on Endor. I never really noticed that much, did you? Okay, so it looks like if you do want to remove the tunic, you're going to have to do some work if you want to move the tunic. Okay, so it's not really easily removable? Yeah, it's not supposed to be removed. Gotcha, that's what you removed. But if you, do me if you do mess around with it, you can probably end up getting it off. Yeah, because this, at this point, yes. this is like right before he goes and turns himself in and eventually, you know, has the battle with uh, Darth and the Emperor. Yes. So, um, all right, let's do the accessories. Yeah, underneath there, like you can see. He's got on the, the black the black suit. Yes. Which I'm sure Darth appreciated. Yeah. Darth and the Emperor probably both. Yes. Oh, he is already ready to turn. This is going to be so easy. Well, actually, we have the Emperor around here somewhere, so... Yeah, I wonder if he kind of did it just to... Uh... Mm. Just as I foresee. He will come before you, and you will bring him to me, Darth. And then he will turn. Um, Mr. Emperor, you're currently talking to no one. Uh, I just have to practice my lights in the mirror. Here he is with the blaster. Attack, silly blaster. Boy, you don't know the power of the dark side. And then let's see. Then here he is with the let's light lightsaber. Yeah, love the lightsaber. That looks really good. The green is awesome. And then let's see. So and then we can hook. And then you and then there's a hole in the belt, and then you can. And then a peg on the lightsaber so you can put it there. Great features. I love that. All right. I think it's time for the rating. Hey, what do you think? That's me again. I'm back. Dan housing? Yes. Oh. Can we help you? I had to have 500 stitches after what the Emperor did to me last time. It's very painful. I see you're still alive. I don't know how. Oh, no, not him again. Now. <laughs> now, now. <laughs> ah! Oh, okay. oh. Ah. 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 Now, back to you, foolish boy. This time, you should turn. As I have instructed you to do, bow before your emperor. I'll never join you. That's it. That's it, emperor. I curse you. What? You heard me. I curse you. You are some sort of witch. No, I'm a wizard. I, I guess. Oh. I curse you. Oh. That's. Tim, I guess I'm going to die. Uh. All right, let's finish up the the, uh, the Luke from Indoor Review, Big. What do you got? How many stars are we getting here? Yeah, I'm gonna give it uh, five stars. Okay. Well, actually, no, I'll give him four stars uh, just because the helmet is not removable. Okay, that was more in line of my thinking. I will say four stars. I think they nailed everything else about the figure, but the helmet, yes, should have been removed one. It would be a five-star figure for me. All right. There he is, folks. Luke from Indoor, PC number 198. Okay, guys, in this video, make sure to like and subscribe for some more awesome Star Wars Vintage Collection fun. Bye. See you next time.